Redfall is gaining traction across social media, as many many gamers are excited for it. But today guys, I bring you 10 plus details you need to know about the game before you buy it. How's it going guys, my name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so Redfall is an upcoming first person shooter video game developed by Arcane Studios and published by Bethesda. So let's actually check out a few more details about these publishers and their history. Let's first check out the CV of the developer, Arcane Studios. So Arcane Studios have brought quite a few games to us in the past, and I'm sure you will be familiar with some of them. Games like Dishonored 1 and 2, Prey and Deathloop. A couple of games here I really enjoyed myself. Now the game is published by Bethesda, and well, these guys are responsible for some of the most iconic games I can remember. Games like Fallout, Out of Scrolls, and a few others. Personally, I'd say they've kind of fell off as of late, but true gamers know exactly what they are capable of. So when a game is brought to the market by them, there's already a bit of hype and excitement there. With Redfall, it's absolutely no different. So where and when can you play this game? So initially this game was set to release in the summer of 2022, but it was delayed. But now it's fully expected to release on May 2nd, 2023. Unfortunately though, due to Bethesda now being a publisher owned by Microsoft, it means that most new titles created after this takeover won't come to PlayStation. And that is the case here. Redfall is a console exclusive to Xbox. It will also be available on PC, but the game will not be available on PlayStation. So gameplay, the most important part. Redfall is an open world first person shooter video game that features both single player and co-op multiplayer modes. Players can choose among four playable characters, each with unique abilities and backgrounds to fight against vampires, as well as human enemies within the game. More info about these players later on. Now the game is set within the fictional island town of Redfall, Massachusetts, United States. After a failed scientific experiment, a legion of vampires invaded and isolated the town from the outside world. Trapped inside Redfall, players must choose from four characters, like I said, to survive and slay these enemies, vampires and human collaborators alike. So the four playable characters all have backstories, unique abilities and entire gameplay styles set around them. This means whether you choose to play the game solo, where it said it becomes more about stealth and exploration, or if you choose to play it with your friends, which will then be less about stealth and more about facing enemies head on, there's still going to be plenty of options and gameplay variety here. So the four characters, first up Supernatural former US military special forces sniper veteran Jacob Boyer. Now Jacob is the long range specialist of the group, using a high powered rifle to take down vampires and cultists from afar. He developed his sniper abilities in special forces as a private military mercenary, with his official bio saying it was a job with one such corporation that brought his unit to Redfall under mysterious orders, known only to his superiors. Absolutely no doubt guys, if you choose this character and play with him, you'll probably learn what his mysterious orders are. Now Jacob's abilities as a sharpshooter are further enhanced by his undead eye, giving him more precise targeting abilities as well as a cloaking device that allows him to get into position for some supernatural sniping. But if enemies do get too close for that sniper rifle to be effective, Jacob can also conjure up a raven to distract foes and allow his teammates to get in close while he finds a new position. Okay, so next up we have the cryptozoologist and inventor, Devinda Crowsley. Now Devinda is a popular influencer in Red Bull's universe specializing in the field of cryptozoology, which probably isn't what you think people. This is actually centered around the pursuit of cryptids like Sasquatch and the Loch Ness Monster. While this initially sounds like he may be ill-equipped for battle against actual monsters, he actually has a few tricks up his sleeve thanks to his loadout of self-made weapons. He is actually a skilled inventor as his studies have granted him knowledge which he needs to craft his own anti-vampire weaponry. According to his official bio, among the most impressive weapon in Dev's arsenal is a staff that emits bursts of ultraviolet light, 
immediately turning all basic vampires in its vicinity into ash. Using this to clear out a big group of vampires whenever they get too close will likely prove invaluable throughout the game. Next up guys we have combat engineer Remy de la Rosa. Now Remy is an engineer specialising in robotics. Having brought the expertise to the Coast Guard in order to help develop new search and rescue technology, a fateful mission to Redfall just before the vampire invasion sealed her fate. And now she must put that robotics knowledge to good use in order to take out the hordes. Luckily for us, she's already done that. Remy is joined by a small robot companion named Bryben. And it's a highly advanced robot designed to be a decoy, cover and attack drone all in one. She can send the robot into battle in front of her, serving as a distraction so she can take out enemies from the side or behind. Okay, so lastly guys, we have the telekinetic student, Layla Ellison. So Layla, perhaps the most relatable of the four heroes, she came to Redfall to study biomedical engineering. And while she ended up with a degree, she also built up a lot of student debt. So she volunteered for a clinical trial to earn some extra cash, reporting for a treatment just as the vampire Legion attacked. She was knocked out, and when she finally came to, she found herself in a new world with a brand new set of superpowers. Layla's trademark purple telekinesis allows her to manipulate the environment around her, pushing and pulling objects with her powers, generating shields and much more. She also wields a massive umbrella charged with kinetic powers, which can fire blasts at enemies as seen in a couple of the trailers. Also seen in these trailers is her ability to use these telekinetic powers to reload her weapons. Pretty cool. Now with your character selected, there's much more to the gameplay. Firstly, we have weapons. So there are many weapons on offer for you to find and even upgrade within Redfall. Weapons from pistols, shotguns, snipers, assault rifles, stake launchers, and even UV lights. Weapons are also not tied to a specific character, so you can use any weapon that you want as any character. Weapons can also be upgraded to have blade attachments on them, and many other things. There are also things called remnants. These are dropped by those vampires. Remnants are items that provide traits which can be offensive or defensive. You can find them in psychic nests, which are optional dungeons. These remnants are objects that the vampires were carrying when the major event or the catastrophe happened. These objects will augment and affect your gameplay many, many different ways. Remnants can change, upgrade and impact your weapons, but not only that, also player traits, defense, health and skills. And yes, players will have those skill trees, where you can upgrade and work towards certain abilities to make them better in various different ways. The game is also home to rarities too, from white, green, blue, purples and even oranges. These will obviously be tied to weapons, but I'm pretty certain we'll also see the same rarities in other aspects of gameplay unlocks too. So with the details on individual players, let's learn a little more about the open world and what's on offer here. So Redfall is a true arcane experience set in a rich world that blends the familiar with the extraordinary. Redfall's open world is handcrafted by the master level designers behind Prey's Talos space station, as well as Dishonored's Dunwall. From the town, once bossed in downtown, and the haunted forest, to the decimated seaside Broadwalk and beyond, you will fight through cultist outposts and supernatural psychic spaces as you piece together Redfall's many mysteries. And as said, the open world will be split into a number of different large districts that take you around Redfall, from dense streets to residential suburbs, to even rural farmland. Expect to find and discover all kinds of things here, giving you more than a single linear direction for players to experience and pour many more hours into. But yeah guys, those are the basics and what you need to know about Redfall before you purchase it. If you guys have any more questions, please let me know down below in that comment section. If you guys enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps me out. And hopefully my beautiful people, I will see you on that next one.